Hello everybody, this is Melanie Brown from Courtney Lane Designs and I have another video showing you how to do something really cool on Cricut Design Space. Okay, so I get lots of questions on how I get all the extra layers on some of the cuts um, on projects that I put up on my blog. And I'm going to show you the best way that I know how to do this. Because some cuts just don't have enough layers, in my opinion. The more color, the better, I think. And the more you can add, the more dimension to a cut, the better it's going to look. Okay, so I'm going to search for that snow cone that I've done on a previous video. Because it's just a good example. Summer Love is the cartridge it was on. Going to find it. Summer Love. There it is. Okay. Let's see, where is that little snow cone? Okay, here it is. So I'm going to insert it onto my mat here. I'm going to make it larger just so everybody can see it very well. All right, so as it stands, we're looking at three layers. Okay, it's going to cut out this purple um, bottom with the straw the snow cone itself, and then a shadow for the entire image. Well, maybe I don't want the straw and the bottom to be the same color, and maybe I would like something to go behind on the stripy part. So let's ungroup this and get to work. Okay, so this is the best way I know how to do this. We're going to do some hide contour, and then we're just going to do some copy and pasting and um, those kinds of things. Okay. Let's start off with, I'm going to change the back here to a light aqua, just because I like to do that. It's always a good color to put on the back. It kind of gives a feeling of sky or, you know, that kind of thing. And let's see, what color are we going to make our snow cone? Let's make our snow cone red. Okay. All right. I am going to copy and paste this cut here. And then I'm going to hide the contour on this one where I will just cut the straw. So I just would hit hide contour and then click on the lines of the things I do not want to cut. And now I'm left with straw. I'm going to do the same thing over here and just get rid of the straw. Then I'm going to copy and paste this image here. So that way I'll have two of them. And then I'm going to hide contour this one. And I'm going to take out the stripes so that way I'll have a solid color behind the top layer. So I'll be able to see the stripes coming through. Okay, and so that would go on top of there. And that's going to go here. And I'm going to go ahead and group this so that way when I bring it over, it's all one. Oh, it's not wanting to group. Come on. Let's see. Let's change the colors and see if that helps. All right, let's do the top. Oops. Let's do the top is white. And then underneath, let's do a light blue. Top white, light blue. There we go. And I'm going to replace it. Slide that under. And then I'm going to make my straw yellow. Let's do primary colors here. Okay. And I'm just going to group the whole thing. So if I resize it, it all sizes together. 
but that's all you do. And so I've added two extra layers to this cut that weren't there before. And I've given it more diversity in color. And I've also given um, something that I can pop up. So I could pop this up easier if I wanted to with dimensional adhesive. Um, so that way it looks like it's 3D and popping off your card or your layout. Anyways, I hope you are all having a wonderful day and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please um, send me any questions that you might have. As always, you can visit me on Courtney-Lane.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>